the worst TikTok trends. Dentists around the country are horrified over a new TikTok trend. I hope every single one of them gets arrested. Just because people do things on Not social bad. media doesn't mean you should. The things people do to get popular on the internet. Oh, people get wild, bro. If you want to see people doing ridiculous things for attention, then look no further than TikTok. There's absolutely no limit to the things TikTokers do Brain for bro. a few seconds of fame. Today, we'll look at some of the worst trends on TikTok, starting from from the Yo, lighter trends to ones that are just horrible. Um, I can't lie, these are about to get crazy, bro, because I've seen some messed up TikTok trends, mate. Some proper messed up ones. Visual Venture, and I hope you guys like my new setup, the ice cream licking challenge. In okay. June 2019, How something happened in a Walmart in Lufkin, Texas that started one of the most disgusting trends on TikTok. A woman and her boyfriend were walking through the store when they stopped by the freezer. As a lady stared at the shelves of ice cream in the freezer, she got a brilliant idea. She grabbed a tube of Bluebell's ice cream, removed the lid, and licked the top of the ice cream. Then while giggling, she put it back as if nothing happened. Messing with the ice cream was already stupid, but what they did next was even more dumb. Her boyfriend, who had recorded her act, uploaded the video onto social media. It instantly wow. blew up, raking in over 12 million oh views in just oh my one God. week. Oh my when you God. pick up some ice cream at the oh store, you're going to think twice about this after you see this video. is going crazy online right now. Oh what my God. kind of psychopathic behavior is this? Yo, the only right punishment for this chat is to take out their tongues. I don't care, bro. No, that's actually vile. That was a thing. That was a thing. People was going around licking ice creams. I feel sick. I feel sick. Wrote one person, I'm disgusted. This should be a criminal charge. Posted another. Unfortunately, the Lufkin Walmart didn't know which specific container she tampered with, so they threw away all their ice cream. Walmart was That's upset, crazy. but no one was more upset than Bluebell, the ice cream company. Bluebell asked the police to find the woman and bring her to justice. They planned to charge her with food tampering, which could mean up to 20 years behind bars. So oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't know that would be such a high to be fair though like food tampering could be many things like you could be putting dodgy stuff in food right so yeah it kind of makes sense like if you're putting drugs in like food and stuff without people know but that's crazy though 20 years yo behind bars surprisingly some people didn't see her actions as wrong instead they were inspired to copy her oh there's a new concern copycat the following week many tiktokers recorded themselves tampering with ice cream in stores and posted the videos to tiktok they called it the ice cream licking challenge this challenge was as unhygienic as it was ridiculous but you know what else is ridiculous using a default browser that yo that is absolutely fucking vile bro chat that is actually fucking vile bro that's vile that is actually why like bro it's really easy because opera gx has an import tool that allows you to import all your settings and set big things yo i'm i'm just hoping like it don't make it any good bro but i'm just hoping off camera they bought that tub of ice cream because that is disgusting like nasty bro to them for sponsoring this video Unlike other TikTok challenges that only affected the person doing it, this trend Damn. made the general public uncomfortable. I can never be at peace buying ice cream. <laughs> That's how I feel. This is why I don't have faith in humanity anymore. As more videos popped up on the internet, people got really worried. Social media users called for stricter punishments and more security in stores to stop the trend. Photographs of locked ice cream freezers at grocery stores circulated on social media. A wall Yo, that's crazy. One way to stop that, though, is, you know, like, the tubs that you can open? They have, like, the layer, like, the foil layer over where you got to peel back. So, you know, it's been tampered with. But, like, the fact that you've even got to do that because people are actually this weird is crazy. Walmart in Texas even hired a guard to watch over their ice cream freezer. They're wasting their time having to guard <laughs> ice cream when they could be like doing so much more for the community. But while stores what? were busy protecting ice cream, the challenge spread to other products. On July 3rd, a oh, different kind of ice cream challenge began. This time, it didn't involve ice cream. In a video posted on Twitter, someone swished mouthwash, spat it back into the bottle, and put it back on a store shelf. Within 
48 hours, the post got over 14 million views. When the mouthwash video went viral, the cops realized they needed to act fast to stop this trend before it affected even more products. They sad. had to start arresting people. Over the next couple of weeks, the authorities tracked down and arrested- Yo, chat, but you know these mouthwash? The ones in the UK, we literally have these. Yeah, yeah, you can see it here. They have plastic over them. So you know when it's been tampered with. So surely you would know this one's been tam tampered with, right, chat? Because I, I buy this one. And it's got like a plastic wrap over that you got to break. So surely, surely with this one, like the ice, ice cream one's crazy, but surely with this one, you'll know. And put it back on a store shelf. Yeah, like, look, you could tell, you could tell. But then again, someone might just pick that up thinking that's how it is. It's still gross. Someone might not realize. Add it back into the bottle and put it back on a store shelf. Within 48 hours, the post got well, over 14 million views. When the mouthwash video went viral, the cops realized viral, they needed bro. to act fast to stop this trend before it affected even more products. They had to start arresting people. Over the next couple of weeks, the authorities tracked down- Yo, 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 yo. If we're going from the, 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 like, the least worst to the absolute worst in this video, and we're already starting at this, bro, what's gonna be the worst, man? Bro, what's gonna- <laughs> What's gonna be the worst, bro? Down ...and arrested several TikTokers for food tampering and criminal mischief. And it was easy because they recorded themselves committing the crime. The things people do for fame. One of the culprits, D. Adrian Anderson, was sentenced to 30 days in jail and two it's years probation. What was ironic about D. Adrian's situation was that he actually even purchased the ice cream he tampered with. He even All had right. the receipt to prove it. But that excuse couldn't save him from going to jail. He got charged. You know what? That's still bad, but be well, bro, like you're still promoting to other idiots to do it. You know what I'm saying? But at least he bought it. But it's still bad, bro. It is. Charged with criminal mischief, the store had to replace all their ice cream. Still bad. Eventually, well, yeah, TikTok and other social trend. media platforms started taking down videos of people participating in this disgusting trend, and the challenge faded away. While this trend costs thousands in property loss, this next one plays with your mind. The orange peel test. What is this? TikTok has many relationship challenges. However, one of the most controversial is known as the orange peel theory. How is that? The orange peel theory test involves uh, women asking their men for an orange, and in order to pass the test, the man must peel the orange before handing it back to her. What? In another version of the test, women ask their man to peel an orange for them and watch how they respond. If the guy peels the orange, it means he's willing to perform tiny acts of service, which is a sign that he truly loves his woman. What, you want me to stand there and feed you in your mouth as well? If you want an orange, I'll give you the orange. What do you mean? What do you mean? Bro. <laughs> If she asks me to peel it for her, I'll peel it. But I'm not just going to stand there peeling the orange. I don't know if she wants the orange now, in a minute, two minutes, five minutes. You know what I'm saying? But in case the partner refuses, it means that the relationship is doomed because he doesn't care about her. All right, so I get the whole love language thing, right? Sorry, Izzy, we're doomed. Because I don't think I peeled you an orange when you've asked. Sorry. So sorry. Sorry. We're doomed. <laughs> but the thing is, they take one act and they make it define the entire relationship. A few weeks after this trend began, a TikToker revealed that her ex broke up with her over the orange peel theory. Oh she told her boyfriend my. about the orange peel test and he thought it was a dumb way to assess a relationship. She disagreed. It led to a big fight and he ended things with her. However you know what? You know what? I ain't gonna lie, bro. If my girl broke up with me because I didn't peel her a fucking orange, I'll be happy. That's a lucky escape, because you've just escaped from a dumb fucking girl, bro. You just escaped from a brain. Do you know what I'm saying? She ain't got no brains. I would say, I would say, oh, thank you. I didn't realize you was that fucking brain dead. I didn't realize you was brain dead. Thank you. Now I know. However, she wasn't heartbroken. In a video posted on TikTok, she said, I would like someone who wants to peel an orange for me. I wouldn't ask you to. I'd just like to know that you would. Is that too much to ask? Her video shocked viewers, making them wonder how something as trivial as peeling an orange could end a relationship. But she wasn't the- I, I'm going to start a new TikTok trend. Hey guys on TikTok, I'm going to take a shit. 
If your partner doesn't come immediately in the toilet and wipe your ass, break up with them. They don't love you. There we go. New, new TikTok trend. It's, it's going to be toilet trend. The only one whose relationship ended because of this test. Another woman on Reddit, a 22 year old, was so disappointed that her boyfriend failed the orange peel test that she broke up with him. She was at home with her boyfriend when she saw the theory on TikTok and decided to try it out. But she didn't have an orange, so she asked her boyfriend to tie her hair for her. Tying her hair was supposed to resemble the act of peeling an orange. She described his response in her Reddit post. I asked him to tie my hair up for me and he looked at me and asked me why I couldn't do it. I asked him again, thinking it was just a fluke, but he told me I could do it since I was in the kitchen and he needed to relax, stating that he just got off work. After he refused, the lady decided to break up with him because he failed the test. When she shared her story online, many people criticized her for throwing away her relationship because of a trend. She defended herself, saying, I didn't mean to make it seem like I was testing him like a crazy girlfriend who sets up her boyfriend for failure. I simply used the theory to see what he would do and came to the realization that I was giving 90% and he was giving 30% into the relationship. Wait, 90% of 30? Yeah, you, 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 you've you already proven you're dumb. 90 plus 30 is an 100. 90 plus 30 is 120. You mean, you mean he's giving 10% into the relationship and you're doing 90? There's no 100... <sighs> As more women tried the test, videos of men peeling or not peeling oranges for their partners got millions of views. I really want an orange, but like I don't want to peel it for myself, you know? I'll peel it for you. Do you like oranges? I really want it, but like I hate peeling it. You a vlog, buddy. Go ahead and do her. You're not going to peel it for me? Do we have any? Yeah. What are you doing? Peeling it for you. Ow. Oh. The way this trend started. <laughs> Yeah, be peeled an orange. Man, I'll fucking dash the orange you fucking had. Peel your goddamn orange. Jesus. Oh, mute that. Video showed an. Okay. The way this trend started was interesting. A TikTok video showed an iMessage chat between exes who were reminiscing about their past. I miss when you would peel my oranges for me in the morning, the first message said. Did you learn how to do it yet? The ex replied. No, I still get juice all over and stab my nails too deep. The messages went viral on TikTok with people saying how thankful they were for having someone who still peels their oranges. TikTokers were taking this way too seriously. A relationship expert warned against the viral test saying an entire no 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 meek if izzy came into my room and said can you peel the orange for me i would do it and if she told me she don't like doing it for some reason i would do it but if she like says pass me an orange and expects me to peel it out and you know what i mean i'm not just gonna peel it automatically you know what i'm saying higher intimate relationship can't be boiled down to what a person does or doesn't do with an just orange. Ask me. and well, i that, obviously you know? agree now this next trend was just straight up disrespect the dancing on graves trend in february of 2021 ah. youtuber pegasus saw a tiktok challenge that made him so mad he created an eight minute youtube video to rant about it Take off those sunglasses because you don't even deserve the shade, bro. You ain't cool. You ain't got swag. I don't know when you'll realize what you're doing is wrong and it's not funny at all. The challenge was officially oh, called Dancing fucked. on Graves. TikTokers would visit graveyards and film themselves dancing on top of or next to random people's gravestones. So fucked, Some bro. videos show teenagers doing choreographed routines while others just dance to pop music. No one knows who started the trend, but it quickly spread as more TikTokers started doing it too. No, Look the disrespect is crazy. Like, no one's just dancing on the grave on the grass, bro. They're standing on the stones and everything. The disrespect is great. Bro, punishment, buried alive. But it quickly spread as more TikTokers started doing it too. Most people who watched Pegasus's video were just as annoyed as he was. They left comments like, I feel embarrassed to be part of this generation. I hope they go to bed every night cringing at what they did. Imagine being at a funeral, mourning the loss of a loved one, and then out of nowhere, a teenager starts doing the orange justice. And guess what? <laughs> Adults were doing it too. In one video, three people, including one adult, danced at a cemetery. So we have what I assume is a mom and our two 
two kids. Mom is all dressed up, you know, boogieing on the tombstone, doing the Fortnite boogie down challenge. There were many more videos of adults participating in this trend. People were pissed, but the trend kept going. No, that is crazy. Imagine being the person knowing that person in the grave. And you're seeing that, bro. That's actually crazy, man. A TikToker named Ben danced and sang on a grave implied to belong to the 36th president of the United States. The name on the tombstone was Johnson. Most viewers seeing the name assumed it was Lyndon B. Johnson, the 36th president of the United States, and Ben's videos reached more than 9 million views on TikTok, except it wasn't uh -oh. the former president. Ben just found a headstone marked as Johnson and saw his opportunity for low-level internet fame. It's actually illegal in most places. YouTubers and social media influencers continue to speak out against the TikTok trend that TikTok started removing these videos and the trend ended. Now, with this next trend, we're going back to more property damage. The devious licks trend. On September oh, 1st, licking. 2021, a strange video appeared on TikTok. It showed a teen stealing disposable masks from school. The video went viral what? quickly, gaining over 200,000 views in one week. The boy was excited about the success huh? of his video. Little did he know it would trigger one of the worst trends on TikTok. When people watched the video of this kid stealing disposable masks, it inspired others to steal things from their schools. These young, immature, impressionable kids are falling for these selfish trends. This TikTok trend is called the devious licks. It involves students stealing school property and posting videos of it. It was called devious licks because according to my favorite dictionary, Urban Dictionary, a lick is a successful type of theft. Just six days later, a yeah, I can't like I can't really say anything, bro. When I was little, like, and I mean very, very, very little, in my primary school, I was like, you know, eight. I used to steal my school's Lego. I used to take a piece with me home every day, put it in a box. And the school came knocking on my house and they took the box because it was just full of their school. I mean, Lego. Not for, yeah, I didn't do it for views. I just wanted the Lego. I liked the Lego. I was just, I was an idiot. So. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't do it for views, bro, when I'm old. Another devious Older. lick video appeared online. On September 6th, 2021, a TikToker shared a video with the text only a month into school and got this absolute devious lick. In the video, he unzipped his backpack and showed a hand sanitizer dispenser from his school. This was only the second devious lick video, but it quickly went viral on TikTok, getting over 7 million views in two days. The trend gained more momentum over the next week as young TikTokers began posting similar videos showing off items they allegedly stole from school and these kids are apparently stealing is, anything even is that? entire water fountains oh my trend's been expelled from school for riding his scooter <laughs> after hours and stealing a handicapped parking sign from the <laughs> yo imagine you go home one day and your brother your 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 son is in his bedroom you walk in there and you see him sat there with a fucking water fountain <laughs> Cool. From soap dispensers and fire extinguishers Bro. to computers and film projectors, oh, that's nothing crazy. was too big or too small to be stolen. In British Columbia, 42 soap dispensers were ripped out from well, school bathrooms it's not a within trend, bro, a week. It's One video even showed a student stealing a classmate's pants while he was in the bathroom stall. School principals across the country begged students to stop stealing threatening disciplinary action. When that didn't work, they resorted to more drastic Wait, 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 chat, 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 chat. Firstly, the guy stole the kid's pants when it was in the stall, yeah? Secondly, why was, why did the guy have his pants off? <laughs> Bro, why did he have his pants? Yo, do people take their pants off, trousers? When they take a, take a shit or a piss? Like, why was his pants fully off? Was it, do you not just put them in your ankles? 
measures. Since most of the I'll items so were stolen from bathrooms, schools across Baby. the country started temporarily closing restrooms. And the trend escalated even more from stealing to vandalism. Some schools reported their toilets being sprayed with red food coloring. In Ontario, a bathroom had all its urinals and toilets clogged with enormous amounts of toilet paper. It's so sad. I just don't understand why these children are turning to that kind of vandalism to express themselves. Police across the U.S. began arresting and charging students. On Mod. September 16th, TikTok banned the devious likes trend. But this dark story has a happy ending. As Yo, the only trend that everyone would do in my school, bro, but they didn't record it. And you guys probably had it in your school, maybe, is but every time you go into the toilet, you would get tissue, you would wet the tissue and throw it on the ceiling. And every time you walk into the bathroom, you look up, it's just full of fucking tissue, mate. Stuck to the roof. Did you guys have that at your school or no? Was that just mine? Was mine just weird? Was mine just weird, bro? As a devious no, licks trend that. ended, a new trend started where students filmed themselves giving back. It was called the angelic yield trend. It began on September 17th uh, when a TikToker made a video. Yeah, that was kind of the only trend that all like the kids did, kind of. It was showing them going into their school bathroom and putting a roll of toilet paper on the toilet. The on-screen text read, I just hit the most angelic yield, while the video caption said, no more devious licks around here. The video gained over 4 million views in three days and inspired hundreds of young people to anonymously donate to their schools. Wait, what? He got 4 million views to put a toilet roll on top of a toilet in a school? Yo, bro, I'm just gonna walk into shops, bro, and just put toilet rolls everywhere. Finally, a trend I can get behind. They'll leave, like, scented hand soap on the sinks and the bathrooms. Or, like, they'll put uh, toilet paper, stuff like that. Some girls put in... Hey, come to my house! I think I've run out of toilet paper. Put some here. Record it, you get views. Operational quotes on the doors and walls and placed yeah, emergency kits take in the bathrooms with sanitary items. This was a remarkable turnaround. The angelic yield trend was a sign of hope for our new generation. So this next trend I personally hate a lot because it has to do with shaping our culture. X. Have you ever been really into someone and then they do something that makes you instantly lose interest in them? Right. That, my friends, is called an ick. An yep. ick is a feeling you get when something about the person you're dating suddenly turns you off. Yep. It's when attraction turns into disgust. Anything can cause an ick. Like you How is an ick a TikTok trend, though? Ick is just standard, like, people just get them. No? They, they, that didn't start from TikTok, did it? using the wrong emoji in a text or being rude to a waiter and tiktokers took it to a whole new level by starting a trend around it the x trend began when a few tiktok users posted videos listing the little things that annoyed them about others when he takes a nap it irrationally annoys me um i don't like friendly guys if oh I are they just on about their crazy x oh yeah i've seen some absolute dumb ones Husbands can't nap. Irrationally annoys me. Um, I don't like friendly guys. If I see him friendly with other people, that's a big ick. The trend spread rapidly with people from all of the- <laughs> I bet if you want to get with urges, you go around the streets punching everyone then. Over the world, posting their own icks. If you get out of the car and I can see even a centimeter of your butt crack, <laughs> you're getting ghosted immediately. One of them is when a guy trauma dumps on you for two hours. Trauma dump? What the hell does that mean? It's when a guy tells you all of his problems. Once again, people are taking this too far. So one TikTok account took it upon himself to compile an insane list of these women's dating apps. <laughs> there are 585 reasons that women apparently do what? not like you. So the thing that's disgusting to me is the fact that you must get over an ick, right? You have to get over an ick in order to have a good relationship. But the problem is it's tearing relationships apart because of a little, little thing that's so insignificant. The type of icks TikTokers were listing showed just how petty and judgmental society was becoming. When he asks a retailer for help and they don't hear him. When they push a pull door. When the roller coaster worker <laughs> tightens his seatbelt thing. People who weren't usually- Yo, this is so bad because this is all the things I do. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> oh shit, man. Maybe I'm just full of X. Maybe I'm just full of X, dude judgmental started to become judgmental because of this trend like um, this girl who tweeted tiktok has made me realize that icks are really a thing and i have many another person wanted icks to apply it to friendships too tweeting it can what? confirm friendship icks are 1000 times worse everyone has things that turn them off but we're human right we're not perfect so you gotta look past them this next trend also tears relationships apart but in a more direct way the cheating prank trend. In 2001, a new type of prank that was way more personal emerged, the cheating prank. This prank involves someone, often a girlfriend, tricking her partner into thinking she's cheating on him and then <laughs> recording his reaction. These videos quickly became popular because of the intense reactions of the people being pranked. <gasps> it's a prank, it's a fucking mannequin, it's a mannequin. Yo, I don't think these are as bad as the others though. Like, yeah, well, yeah, I wouldn't really find them, like, entertaining. And most of them are probably fake anyway. But I wouldn't say, I suppose they mean it's the worst TikTok trend in, like, a bad way. I could just... In one viral video, a girl sent her boyfriend a text that suggested she was cheating on him. The message she sent to her boyfriend read, he's leaving now, you can come over. But her boyfriend's unexpected reaction made the video go viral, earning him the title of online legend. He raced back indoors and ran upstairs to their bedroom. The girl already had the camera set up. As soon as he entered, she said, I thought you were leaving. I was leaving until I saw your cheeky text message. Something about like coming over now. So, um, he's leaving now, you can come over. But instead of being mad or jealous, the boyfriend assigned a different meaning to the message. What? Are you planning your, like a belated birthday surprise for me or something? No. Your You're birthday, grinning! Your birthday was over a month ago. Yeah, but it's never too late to celebrate, is it? Even though she insisted that it wasn't true, her boyfriend was convinced that the text message meant she was organizing a surprise party for him. Then he kissed her and headed back out the door. I know you're doing it. Okay, I love you so much. Her boyfriend's response got a lot of likes and positive comments online. But more importantly, it made other girls wonder whether their boyfriends would react the same way. And the only way to know was to try the prank on them. There was an explosion of cheating videos on TikTok and each of them were different in their own way. In one video, a guy was acting really shady, pretending to hide another girl in the closet. But when his girlfriend started to get suspicious, she did everything she could to check inside the closet. Yo, you're gonna do that while I was pregnant? It's crazy. Yo, hey, listen. I don't know if this is a bad take or what, chat. I don't, I don't know if these are genuine. I don't know, bro. I don't know other people's relationships. But if you even think or believe a cheating prank in your relationship, then I think you're already insecure about that. And that's bad anyway. You should end that, bro. Because I'm thinking me and Izzy, we will be able to do a cheating prank. Because we know we wouldn't do that. Like, if I did a cheating prank on Izzy, she would just reply saying, shut the fuck up. Or vice versa, you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Like, she wouldn't go along with it. She would just know it's bullshit anyway, bro. Fine, I guess, whatever. Like, bro, if I was sat here trying to pretend to hide a girl, Izzy would just walk in here, get whatever she needs and walk out. She wouldn't even pay attention to me, bro. Maybe, maybe that's worse. <laughs> maybe, the, uh, maybe that's worse. <laughs> maybe she's not bothered. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Some of these videos aren't that bad, but there were many other reactions that were dangerous. In one video, this boyfriend went straight for the punch. Yay! In another video, a boyfriend pulled out what looked like a pew pew. <laughs> you play too much, bro. What the fuck? This trend caused permanent damage to some relationships, but in our next trend, it caused permanent damage to themselves. The teeth filing challenge. 
When someone starts a video with the words, I'm about to do something dumb, you know what's coming next is not good. That's when a girl named Ashlyn said she filmed herself doing the teeth filing challenge. This was a bizarre ah! trend where TikTokers posted videos of themselves using nail files to what reshape or smoothen their teeth. They did this to make their teeth appear straighter or fix uneven edges. I'm gonna file my teeth down with a nail file because they're ah! not perfect. I have some ridges and we're falling on a budget. These videos went viral and soon hundreds of people were doing it. So Ashlyn joined the trend. She set up her camera, grabbed her nail file, and after declaring she was about to do something dumb, That's went horrible. to work. And it obviously didn't end well. That's I originally horrible. used just a nail file and it wasn't working, so I moved to this. It was not painful when I did it, but as the days went on and I would drink cold drinks or ice cream, I felt a lot of sensitivity in my teeth. Ashlyn had done. Yeah, I doubt filing your fucking teeth is fucking good for you, mate. Mental problems after filing your teeth because, no surprise, it's one of the worst things you can do to your teeth. Why would when you I saw these videos, I almost fell off my chair. The trend started around June 2020 Go when a 19 year old named Mia Doe posted a video of herself filing down her uneven teeth using a nail file. Her video was viewed over 400,000 times. She allegedly decided to file her teeth because dentist offices were closed oh. during the pandemic, so she figured she could could fix her own teeth. Another TikToker <laughs> admitted she shaved her teeth because dental care is so expensive, but it was gonna get a whole lot more expensive. Oh, As a trend shit. got more popular, dentists made videos to warn people about the risks of messing with their teeth. Dentist Todd Bertman calls the practice horrifying and says it does irreparable damage to your enamel. Your teeth are not like nails. They don't grow back. Filing them down can remove the enamel, which is the hard protective outer layer. Without enamel, That's teeth crazy. can become sensitive and painful and more prone to decay and infection. Uh, you can end up with sensitive idiot. teeth, pain, and probably root canals as well. Many TikTokers learned that lesson the hard way. One user who filed her teeth was in so much pain that she had to take painkillers every two hours. Yo, who actually sits there and goes, yo, you know what today I'm gonna do? I'm gonna file my fucking teeth. Like, bro, there's actually people on the planet that would do that. Bro, that is scary to think people are that dumb. I don't think monkeys are that dumb, bro. Apes. You know the smart ones? I, I think if you... Bro, they ain't that dumb. It's mad. It was so bad that her dentist told her that she filed into her nerve and would need a root canal. Oh. It eventually took two procedures ah. to fix the problem. Others who tried the challenge posted follow-up videos showing that they regret their actions. One person summarized their experience with this tweet. Whatever you do, don't do this. I only did because I'm stupid and was curious. <laughs> Even Ashlyn joined forces speaking against the trend, saying it's not worth the trouble. Another a terrible dental trend was when people glued fake vampire fangs to their teeth using nail glue or super glue. Another one involved TikTokers applying bleach directly to their teeth to make them whiter. And lastly, a TikToker who closed the gaps between his front teeth using rubber bands. TikTok is the worst place to get dental advice, unless of course you're a dentist. My friends, out of all the trends so far, this next one is the worst. The key a challenge. In 2022, people across America were complaining on social media about their Kia and Hyundai cars being broken into or stolen. However, they weren't just blaming the thieves, they were blaming TikTok. But why? The answer is in this Facebook post from one of the victims. On July 25th, Brian Adderd wrote, the whole world is nuts. I got a call from my daughter. Someone tried to steal her Kia Soul last night, smashed the window, and there's ignition wires all over the place. Then he explained, why TikTok was to blame, saying the sick part is this model Kia is part of a TikTok challenge with instructions on how to steal this car using a USB cable and Whoa. the ignition switch. They failed, but the damage is done. The Kia challenge is definitely one of the most disturbing trends ever seen on TikTok. It began in July 2022 when a TikToker at Robbie Ray posted a video of himself hot wiring a car. People were shocked at how simple the process was. Robbie Ray may have 
posted the video Whoa. for educational purposes, but what most people saw was a tutorial on how to steal a car. After about two well, weeks, yeah, no TikTok shit. realized the danger of the video and took it down, but it was too late. Thousands of people had seen how to hotwire a car and they wanted to try it out. The oh key challenge God. took off. This challenge involved participants recording themselves, breaking into cars, hotwiring them, and sometimes driving them away. Most of the cars that were broken into were Kias, hence the name of the challenge. A woman in Highland Park found out the hard way recently, just a few days ago in broad daylight. Her 2017 Hyundai was stolen where it was parked outside her second job. Tens of thousands of Kias and Hyundais were stolen. My. People's cars were stolen twice in one day. Thefts of Kia and Hyundai cars rose by 767% in the Chicago area and in New York thefts increased by nearly 2,400%. The topic even made it into songs with rappers bragging about stealing Kias. But obviously this came with consequences. Locally Arlington police say- well, obviously they're fucking robbing cars. This should be charged with theft. They've made several arrests and stress auto theft in Texas is a felony, which many young people might not realize. And what's sadder is what this does to the victims. Someone tweeted, having your own car broken into, then you factor yeah, in inflation, <laughs> living paycheck to paycheck. Some people can't afford repairs. I remember a while back, someone broke into my car in our driveway and the repair cost about like two thousand dollars or something and what? i was a broke college student it was way too expensive another road does insurance not cover that this trend absolutely makes me feel disgusted it's really beyond me that people think it's okay to post criminal acts let alone participate in them after seeing them online it's super frustrating it sounds like yo chat this is crazy but i'm surprised i didn't see the trend probably because it didn't it wasn't like a popular trend but did you guys ever see the trend i think it was only one video and they tried making it a trend where it was on tiktok a car hitting bicycle people so cars are driving you see someone on a bike and they would swerve and try and make them fall off i see i seen some uh, that pop-up clip, I don't know if it was just one video or if it was an actual trend, but the, the description said this stupid new trend or something like that. But I think I think it didn't last long because I think someone hit someone and killed them, which was really bad. Yeah, pretty much murder, bro. People are fucked up, man. I'm surprised that didn't make this list because I'm pretty sure it was like last year, I think. Now I have to be careful where yeah, I park. Yeah, they killed one guy, Patricia. It was so sad. It's gonna change where we'll probably take my wife's car. And but it was about to get worse for the victims because some insurance companies refused to cover certain Kia and Hyundai models because of the high risk of theft. What? Angry car owners eventually sued Kia and Hyundai, arguing that the companies didn't install anti-theft devices. Yeah, I'm surprised that make the bike a fall off trend isn't on here because I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it, it might just be clickbait on the video, but I definitely seen that one person who killed someone but he i think he said in the video of the trend or something i don't know ices in their cars making them easier to steal I was thinking, how was settled this a trend? For 200 million dollars and after intense pressure at tiktok lawsuit was settled stall anti-theft devices in their cars making them easier to steal the lawsuit was settled for 200 million dollars and after intense pressure at tiktok shut down the kia challenge Social media trends can be fun. The internet gives us the ability to connect with one another. People are and idiots, man. You is to not let it disconnect us from our humanity. Don't be an idiot, Visual bro. Venture. Damn, people are dumb. Holy. Yeah, no, chat. The one, um, the bike one was so sad, bro.